guys and welcome to another GearHeads Garage production and uh what I'm saying right now which is on the opposite side of the camera is awesome if you have uh, been following me on Instagram you have uh, been seeing uh, some little subtle hints of me posting about the nose cold and stuff on the Sears Mutt 3 and uh, well I finally got it back on uh, the hood is all bolted up and everything is finished on it and I've been working a little bit behind the scenes on it and um, I don't know about y'all but I think you're gonna like it this is the first time since I have you know painted it everything this is the first time that I've really seen this thing complete and I'm gonna be honest with you guys it looks a lot better than I thought it would. Stick stick around. So yeah guys, like I am super stoked on how this thing turned out and uh, I did just get done uh, washing it a little bit. I didn't get the wheels, I mean it's it's raining, I didn't really want to get it all messed up. Um, I just have a, uh, a, a squirt bottle of soapy water in a rag and I just sprayed this down and just, you know, wiped it off with a clean rag. And I have to say, uh, for an older tractor, she uh, she shines up pretty good. She cleans up pretty good. Um, I will be getting these wheels. As you can see, they are all kinds of nasty. Uh, I will be cleaning those wheels off probably after I get done with this upload. So um, that will be happening. But um, I just wanted to just take a second and just take it in. I did get these lights wired up. I'll show you guys that right now. I did get it all wired up. And I'll show you how I got these wired up. Let me. I also put some uh, Velcro tape around there, just the soft side, so it won't get banged up or anything. See how that happened? Got my hood prop right there, but I ran the wiring harness all the way down. You can see the wiring harness right there. It just goes all the way down beneath the grill, and um, it goes to these two wires. And I got I did these male and female plugs so that when I go trail riding in this thing, whenever whatever I do, if it's bouncy, then I can. I made, I made this whole entire front clip removable, so I can undo these two wing nuts. Uh, these are a quarter by 28 um, threaded wing nuts, and uh, this is just a little piece of all thread that um, was really flexible that I just found that I didn't even know I had, and it just so happened to be flexible enough to where I could bend it and make it, just make it work. So uh, that happened. Um, so... I have this is not a separate wiring harness as you can see I still have my one main light switch right there but um, I have to go to the other side of the tractor if you'll actually notice the wiring harness for these lights I actually have uh, tapped in a, a t-tap on here and these two wires go to the opposite side of the tractor which connect to them to male and female terminals that I showed you which go to power the lights 
which I can't tell if they're any dimmer now. I don't think they are. I mean, they're obviously dimming as they are because it's running off of a lawnmower battery that is not hooked up to a charging system. But I mean, that'll uh, that'll come in time. But uh, I am so proud of how this turned out. Like you guys have no idea. Like this, uh, like. Not really the, the hood part in particular, but this nose cone has been sitting either right here on my workbench or right there where all the other Yamaha parts are since the beginning of this year. And it, it is now October. So I have, well, on and off and on, I have been working on this nose cone for about a year. So I am so glad to see this thing back in one piece in good as good a shape as it's going to ever be i mean it's it's not perfect by any means but it's perfect enough to have my stamp of approval it'll be fine so um i don't exactly know how well you can hear me because it's coming down raining but uh if y'all remember, or if I made it into the shot, made it into the shot, but uh, on the front of the sears on that, uh, that little mesh plate, it had a, uh, like a little metal lock. And what that was, I did some research, and apparently it's uh, like a little antique like metal motorcycle plate or something and it was really rusted up and i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to save it and uh, it was pretty much made out of like little thin pressed uh sheet metal but with some really careful sanding i was able to knock a lot of the rust off to get down the bare metal and uh, i was able to save it and store it and i thought that that would be a really good piece to uh, put back on the tractor as kind of a tribute to uh, what I got it for. But, uh, here it is. I got it. Y'all can see that. But uh, I think it turned out pretty great. Um, I uh, tried to mimic. The uh, color and uh, the, uh, the print and stuff, it was a Georgia plate, uh, 495 NTR, uh, it just what was on it, so uh, let's put this on the tractor. Got the hardware. Thought it'd be interesting to kind of keep that little touch on there. I may keep it on, I may take it off, probably keep it on. I just, I like them little touches. So, uh, and, uh, it's not that this tractor came from any certain place. I bought it off of an old high school friend of mine. It's just that tag had always been on there ever since I bought it and I thought it'd be kind of cool to keep it on there just from wherever this tractor came from before he bought it so uh, that's just kind of me explaining you know that it didn't really it didn't have like a nothing I know of it didn't have any kind of like a special story attached to it but um, yeah I'm just glad to see her all 
finally back together. And uh, it's obviously dark though, as it gets dark about 4 35 o'clock. I can't tell you how much I hate daylight savings time, but I mean, it is just a real booger. But, um, it is what it is. But the main part of this video is kindly not that, it, that even though it is, but um, I also want to go ahead and change the transaxle oil on this thing. It has, I don't think, ever been done, at least not by me. I don't know if the guy that my buddy did it before, but um, got the wheel off, as y'all could see. And uh, this is how you drain the transoxyl fluid. You have your inlet port right here, and you have your outlet port right down there. Now, um, thing is, is what type of oil is supposed to be used. I looked it up on the uh, the Sears site and it's supposed to take five quarts of 30 weight oil. So we've got to go and get some 30 weight oil. So, um, I think before we do that I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil. So let's get started doing that. And yes, I did go ahead and crack the drain plug loose before I started this. So, that's it. And, um, because it was a son of a gun to crack it loose. So, that's kind of why, just to speed up the process. But, uh, let's go ahead. It's still a little bit hard. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy loose. And I have no honest to god idea what this fluid is going to look like so this is going to be a treat for both of us maybe it'll go now yeah there we go and get our drain pan up under here and let's hope that we don't completely get it all over ourselves. I'm kind of maybe hoping that this... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's just hope that this gets rid of the transmission noise that this thing has been having. That's it? No, that can't be all that was in there. What? I'm going to let her sit for a little bit longer and see just how much comes out. That looks more like four to five quarts, but good Lord have mercy. Some nasty, nasty stuff right there. Let's do this. Alright guys, so we have the drain plug back into the drain uh, hole and the fill hole now open. Which I took that out when I was draining as well to uh, increase volume. But, uh, whoa tripod tried to follow there but uh got the uh filler tube uh, set up and uh hopefully this goes a little bit faster than what everyone else is thinking i don't know we'll have to see yep that's what i thought well all right guys well that was a trip about two two and a half hours it took to baby feed this thing and it almost took five quarts actually it was more like four and three quarters of a quart but uh yeah now i got to get this out of the way 
spilt a whole bunch, but it'll be fine. And uh, clean everything up with some brake cleaner and uh, hopefully we will be good to go. All right guys, so that's gonna be about it for this one. Uh, got to uh, finish uh, getting the uh, little dent picky stuff and get this thing decorated because uh, the event that I'm taking this thing to is uh, tomorrow afternoon. So uh, I've got to get busy on that. So uh, if you like this video, you know, like, share, subscribe. Gearheads Garage 212, both Instagram and now the Facebook group. I would like to still keep that one active because that is a good way for not only me as a creator, but for you guys and me to communicate. So uh, yeah, with that being said, see you next time.